Get down on the ground. Face down. Come on! Oh no. You don't understand. This is an alaya. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fashion icons in teen movies. And a piece for Regina George. She fractured her spine and she still looks like a rock star. Thank you. For this list, we'll be looking at the fictional teenage fashionistas with the most iconic style. Some plot points will be discussed, so beware of potential spoilers ahead. Whose wardrobe would you steal first? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Sharpay and Ryan Evans – High School Musical Franchise Sharpay Evans's Barbie doll style set her apart as the greatest dresser in the High School Musical franchise. Nothing is too sparkly or too pink for the blonde bombshell. I'll email you my wardrobe choices each morning so that our outfits won't clash. If you own any orange, get rid of it. Being a drama kid, she has absolutely no chill, and it's amazing. Tiaras aren't just for royalty, they're a key wardrobe staple. Her style is, in a word, fabulous. Her brother Ryan might seem like an understated dresser compared to her, but he makes a statement of his own with his trademark hats. Unlike the majority of the HSM boys, Ryan isn't just stuck in plain tees or sportswear. He always jazzes up his looks, and the results are epic. Nobody does an outfit like the Evans kids. We'll keep stepping up and we just won't stop. Number 9. Courtney Shane, Jawbreaker Per director Darren Stein, this dark comedy's title reflects the duality of the poppy sweetness of the girls of high school and of youth versus the whole idea that this thing could break your jaw. Never send a rose unless dyed black as a warning. And if one is sent to you, destroy it, along with the sender. Emotionally, of course. It's not like we kill people. on purpose. The movie's kitsch, candy-coloured palette hammers the message home. The girls you have to watch out for are dressed in the brightest colours. Courtney Shane, otherwise known as Satan in Heels, is the queen bee of her school's flawless four. Jane, I don't think we've officially met what with the cruel politics of high school and all. Almost every ensemble in this movie makes a statement, but Courtney's outfits are particularly bold, skin-tight and sexy. She also knows how to work her heels. Her look is basically a 90s take on a teenage femme fatale, and we're in awe. You taught me to rule. That's right, rule, bitch, but don't forget who made you. Number 8. Chantelle Mitchell – Just Another Girl on the IRT The heroine of this underrated teen drama has a killer ensemble for every occasion, from hanging out to dancing the night away. Her Brooklyn style certainly wouldn't look out of place on any of the most beloved 90s shows. Lots of folks think Brooklyn girls are real tough. <laughs> I guess that's true. I'll let nobody mess with me, and I do what I want, when I want. But more than that, Chantelle is on another level. Whether she's going casual in her high-waisted jeans or all dressed up to go out, each look is memorable and effortlessly cool. Oh man, why you all dressed up? I'm not dressed up. What you trying to say? Don't I always look nice? Nah, nah, you just look crazy fresh. She loves her big earrings and can definitely rock a colorful hat any day. Plus, her youthful and bold outfits make her stand out and reflect her personality. But they also feel real. She dresses like a teenager, not a mini adult, which is definitely refreshing to see. Yeah. Word, but that's all right, girl. We're gonna be looking fierce tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Number seven, Lola Step, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Lola definitely brings the drama both in her life and her wardrobe. Each outfit becomes a new role for her to play. I look upon my new town as an empty stage to which I'm allowed to bring my own script. In my heart, I feel that a legend is about to be born. When her favorite band breaks up, she comes to school in her own variation of morning dress, and she tackles the dance mat battle in the most stylish workout gear ever. This drama queen isn't afraid to blaze her own trail and get creative. Her bottle cap necklace epitomizes her approach to fashion. It's memorable and uniquely Lola. Thanks. I've had it since I was six. It's practically an antique. But her most iconic outfit is her red dress, 
It's iconically meant to be a costume for the school play, but she adds her own flair to it when wearing it to Siddhartha's final concert. For Lola, there's no such thing as overdressing. Life is a work of art. You gotta paint it colorful. You can make it anything you want. Don't have to stick to any rules. Number six, Sarah Bailey, Nancy Downs, Bonnie Harper, and Rochelle Zimmerman. The Craft. Before Charmed, there was The Craft, and Sarah, Nancy, Bonnie, and Rochelle walked so the Halliwell sisters could run. The foursome style combines the preppy look and the grungy oversized styles that dominated the 90s and mixes them with an alternative, more goth fashion that was so emerging at the time. Needless to say, the result is epic. Girls, watch out for those weirdos. <laughs> we are the weirdos, mister. Chokers and lace-up boots are combined with slip dresses and cardigans. There's tinted sunglasses, stacked necklaces and knee-high socks, and of course, a whole lot of black. The supernatural movie story follows a coven of teenage witches who struggle with high school drama while attempting to manage their dark gifts. But at least they look great doing it. But if you're gonna leave the circle, you might want to think about leaving the school. And maybe the city too, we're not sure. Or the planet. Number five, the Heathers. Heathers. The eponymous clique from this 80s cult classic is instantly recognizable. With their big hair and even bigger shoulder pads, the Heathers rule the school. They all want me as a friend or I'm worshipped at Westerberg and I'm only a junior. Heather Chandler's statement plaid jacket and red scrunchie create one of the movie's best looks. Although her pink dressing gown is pretty memorable too, and not just because she dies in it. I knew this stuff would be too intense for her. <laughs> Intense. Grow up. The Queen Bee's funeral provides an opportunity for the other group members to bring their fashion A-game. And who could forget Veronica Sawyer? Her style is less preppy and her wardrobe contains a lot of blue and black, contrasting with the pastels and brights by the other girls. It's appropriate as she's about to get mixed up in something very dark. Veronica, you look like hell. Yeah, I just got back. Number 4. The Pink Ladies, Grease Although it was released in the 70s, Grease is set in the 1950s. Hey guys, how do you like Sandy, huh? Do you think we can let her in the Pink Ladies? She looks too pure to be pink. For teenage girls, this was the time of poodle skirts and ponytails. But unlike Patty Simcox and her girlfriends, the Pink Ladies go against the grain and challenge the status quo. They're the cool kids, so they embody a more casual 50s look, rather than the clean-cut attire of their peers. Well, here we are again. Yeah, but this time we're seniors. And we're gonna rule the school. <laughs> their trademark matching pink jackets took any top pants or skirt combo to a whole new level. It's safe to say these greaser girls gave the boys a run for their money. Their hairstyles complete each look and make them stand out from the crowd even setting them apart from the other rebel girls of 50s period pieces. Oh, I'm falling, I'm falling. Number 3. Jim Stark – Rebel Without a Cause Even if you'd never seen Rebel Without a Cause, you may be familiar with the iconic image of James Dean in that red jacket and jeans. I like you. You know that? Why do we do this? You gotta do something. The 1950s really embraced teen culture, and this coming-of-age drama could be described as one of the first teenage movies. Dean, who died about a month before the film was released, steals the show as a troubled suburban teen. You're tearing me apart! What? You, you say one thing, he says another, and everybody changes back again! Jim Stark embodies the classic 50s rebel look, white shirt, jeans, and a statement jacket. But even when he's dressed more traditionally, with the classic button-down and tie, he never looks boring or stuffy. What can we say? James Dean knew how to make anything look good, and he more than delivered with Jim Stark. That's being strong. Oh, wow. Number 2. The Plastics – Mean Girls 
We want to invite you to have lunch with us every day for the rest of the week. Oh, it's okay. Cool, miss. So we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> On Wednesdays, we wear pink. The plastics are teen royalty, and as such, they set the trends. Even if the holes in the t-shirt thing never did catch on in real life. In the aughts, short skirts and velour were the order of the day. But costume designer Mary Jane Fort wanted to stay contemporary while also giving the movie's clothes a timeless look. You look awesome. I know, right? In the 50s, she says, your nails were done, your hair was done, and your dresses were impeccable. The plastics certainly delivered on all of those fronts, but achieving that flawless style doesn't happen by accident. As we all know, you have to follow a lot of rules to rule the girl world. You can't wear a tank top two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. So I guess you pick today. Oh, and we only wear jeans or track pants on Fridays. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Cheetah Girls, the Cheetah Girls franchise. Galleria, Chanel, Aqua and Dorinda each have their own uniquely memorable style. Jade, Bratz. She's the punky fashion Easter of the group. Hi. Oh, good glass. Peach party. Yeah, I just got it. You were just like, like it. Love it. Lara Jean Covey to all the boys franchise. Her preppy style and pastel palette reflect her sweet personality perfectly. I'm going to tree. Have a nice day. Yeah. Carry on. Anna Coleman, Freaky Friday. This rocker chick brings it at every age. What have you done to my Mom, ear? Mom, it's an earring. Take it out. Take it out right now. No, it looks cool. Oh, don't start with me. And those clothes are going back first thing tomorrow. Why? Everyone likes them. You look great. The Clovers bring it on. This cheerleading squad style still holds up. Go Clovers! Go Clovers! Go! Go! Go Clovers! Our game is fierce and we are hip, so get on back. You can't touch this. Our game is bad. We're without fear, so get that weak mess out of here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cher Horowitz and Dion Davenport – Clueless Cher Horowitz's yellow plaid ensemble has become a fashion staple, and for good reason. But combine Cher and Dion's wardrobes, and that's when the real magic happens. She's my friend because we both know what it's like to have people be jealous of us. Yeah. Girlfriend! And I must give her snaps for her courageous fashion efforts. Their styles are slightly different. Cher's is preppier, Dion's is bolder, but their outfits always complement each other. Both are unmistakably 90s girls, and together, they're absolutely unbeatable. Cher's main thrill in life is a makeover, okay? It gives her a sense of control in a world full of chaos. They're super popular, ultra rich, and love a label. But they're not basic fashion followers. Everybody else wants to emulate their style because it's clear that they have fun with their clothes. Say Ambular. Hi. Uh, was that you going through my laundry? As if. Like, I would really wear something from Judy's. Do you prefer fashion victim or ensemble challenge? Uh, a clone. Every ensemble is thoughtfully executed, and the young women wear a lot of outfits throughout the course of the film. We guess that's why Cher needs that closet. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.